Hey comrades, Mr. Anime here, and welcome to Derm Term Episode 3. Today we're talking about this episode from the Garfield Show, called Garfield Into the Wild, and otherwise known as Nermal's First Kiss. I find this very surprising, because Nermal is like a mega chad, so I'm pretty sure the title is a lie. Uh, to be honest, I'm a supporter of the ship, uh... Normal X Arlene, it's called uh, Armal, but let's continue with the episode. So John is in the wild, probably because everybody knows he's a freaking incel simp, and he was driven out of town. If you know, he's always trying to get Liz to marry him, and it never works. He's a freaking incel simp, I swear. So Garfield and friends, but not those friends, freaking ugly. Uh, these ones, the ultimate trio of great characters. Look, here's my tier list. Normal and friends are walking around, and Garfield is an abuser, man. I swear. Look at look at how he throws Normal on the ground. This is so unfair. And Garfield is a Nazi. They find some beavers and they make make them a boat. Wow, that's that's like so nice. Too bad they never show up again. So they ride in the boat and and be racist to some skunks. This isn't the first time this will happen. And then the water just ends, and they gotta try not to die. And while watching this, I, I could not handle it. The thought of Nermal dying was so was too sad. There's no way this could happen. I had to be hospitalized. I was so surprised, but luckily they do survive. But this is unforgettable. While they're walking, they get stalked by an alligator. And a frog. So obviously the frog needs a kiss. It's like uh, where like the frog uh, princess and the kiss and stuff like that. But why don't they just kiss the alligator? What, Jim Davis only wants straight couples in his show? Well, too bad. There's already like 16 Garfield X normal AMVs. But my game theory is that the frog only wants to kiss normal. And I mean, who wouldn't? Side note, Nermal's top speed is 10 miles per hour from the shot of him running, but your calculations could differ. The frog wants to kiss Nermal, but Nermal ain't about that life, so he says no, which I feel is justified. Would you accept this? The answer is no. Then Nermal tries to kill himself by getting eaten. No, Nermal, don't do it. At this point, I had to get mega hospitalized because this was way too shocking and horrible. Nermal just does actually get eaten, but the frog knows karate, so it's all fine. But before that, Garfield is cracking jokes. Like, really, man? He's your friend. Show some respect. I'm getting rid of my Garfield shrine. You hear me, Jim Davis? By the way, the alligator's straight up dead. So there's that. But not really, because it was all a plot to get Nermal to kiss the frog. This is messed up. Like, I don't like this. What are you teaching kids? What are you teaching kids, Jim Davis? That if someone denies you a kiss, you have to manipulate them? That's messed up. So Normal doesn't know you. Normal doesn't owe you anything. Freaking everyone in the show is freaking simping incel. Frick. Wants a freaking kiss. So Normal feels bad and starts singing, I, I guess... Uh, j join me for next episode where I sing Normal vs. Garfield, Epic Rap Battles of History. Big Larry came round just to put him down. SpongeBob turned into a. Uh, there's some really good cinematography in this song. Like, what a cinematic masterpiece. Also, I swear, if Fortnite ripped off Normal's dance here, I'm gonna buy the rights to Normal and send them a cease and desist. But the normal gets kissed? Ew, disgusting. That's how you get herpes. So Jim isn't fine with a gay relationship, but he will allow interracial animal relationships? This makes no sense. So normal falls into a state of shock and terror. It's all fine because the frog is still a frog. What was the point? I thought it was like Princess and the Frog. I thought something would happen, but no. This frog only wanted a kiss to get a kiss? Really, Jim? I thought you were better than this. Can't even write a good story if it's longer than two panels. 
This episode gets two normals out of a full normal. I like the amount of normal, but it made me too depressed. I'm literally crying right now. The darkness is overflowing. You don't want to see what I've become. I'm a husk of my former self. That nice guy is gone, replaced with evil. My soul is consumed with darkness, ever wondering what it feels like to be happy. Nobody can save me. Nobody can save us all. In the grand scene, nothing matters. When we remember the past, will anyone cry? Will anyone regret? They never knew us. So what's the point? 